All right, well, there's only one reason we'll get up at 6 a.m. It's for baby chick. Good morning, guys. We are here at Murray McMurray Hatchery, and we wanted to give you a tour of the facility, show you all the baby chicks, but first we're gonna get a brief history and introduce you to our tour guide for the day and introduce you to Ashley, who's the head of marketing here at Murray McMurray Hatchery. So how are things going here at the hatchery? Good morning, things are going well. Luna had a good season and now we're kind of winding down, but we're excited you're here. What's the, we're here in September, what's the busy season for the hatchery? Um, our season is January through July is our main season, and then July through October is our uh, lower volume season. Well, we're here out here by a, a banner of the, the history of Murray McMurray Hatchery. Can you give us a little brief history on the place? Sure. The hatchery was started in 1917 by Murray McMurray. He was a banker by trade. Um, chickens were his hobby. So in 1917, the bank he was working at went out of business, and so he decided to do chickens full time. He started by selling out of the back of the of the bank door, and from there they did about 10,000 egg capacity incubators, and he was able to get those at the time, which was a big deal. But we are the largest producer of rare and exotic breeds. We have over 100 varieties of different breeds of chickens. We are continually adding on. that we're coming to now is the sexing room. Um, this is where they will sex our birds. Um, Hang on, I want you to explain that because it just sounded like you said this is the sexy room. So this, it's the sexing room. This is the sexing <laughs> room. Um, this is where we sex our birds. Um, you can see we have two sexers currently today. He is currently doing a vent sexing. Um, we do vent sexing and wing sexing. How effective are they? We guarantee a 90% sexing rate and so they will go through and they do pretty quickly um, we'll go through all of our birds that are sex not all of our birds are sex for various reasons but like bantams aren't sex because they're just too small and it's too hard on a bantam he has to squirt the poop out in order to see the vent which is this tiny little bump and that's why it's a specialized thing because you have it's not an easy job to do all right, we're here with Tom, one of the vice presidents here at McMurray Hatchery. Um, it's a hatch day, so those are our, our busiest days. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we hatch about 23,000 chicks today. Mm -hmm. um, they all get shipped out to, to customers, people all over the United States, um, Alaska, Hawaii, anywhere there's somebody looking for some chicks for the You guys the ship to Alaska and Hawaii, huh? Yep, yep. How long does it take to get there? Actually, Alaska is one of the fastest really? routes we have. Um, wow. There's a direct flight that leaves from Minneapolis, right where we drop our chicks, uh -huh. uh, right to Alaska, right to uh, Anchorage. Well, we're here, we're heading over to setting some eggs. Yeah. What do we need to know about these incubators? We've got two different styles of incubators um, that we've been working on upgrading. Each rack has got a tag on it, so we, we label every flat. That, that rack holds, if it's full, it holds 5,000 eggs. This incubator holds 110,000 eggs. It'll hold 22 of, of these trolleys that he's putting in. They're all pneumatically controlled. They turn. Um, we have them turn for every every hour they'll turn. There's coils in there. That's the cooling, actually. Um, there's heat bars. Um, primarily, you only heat for the first seven to eight days, and then you're cooling the eggs. As the embryo grows, they put off heat and actually heat themselves. So you're only trying to keep them cool at that time. You know, we're getting towards the end of our, our year. This. We have three identical incubators like this. Each of them hold 110,000 eggs. That is one week's worth of eggs. So we fill one for one week and we completely empty them. And then the next week we, we fill that one. And it'll 21 days, pretty much exactly. We'll spend 18 days in this incubator and then we transfer them into our hatcher room. That keeps this room really clean. The, the dirty part is, is the, the hatching. Fire breath and open sky. It's not what we know, it's where we go. Alright, so we're here in the hatching room. What happens from this point on when the chicks are coming out? How does this work? So we're pulling the chicks out of the, the hatchers. Um, they're exactly the same as they were at the incubators. Um, they're just in, these, in our hatch baskets and give them some space to hatch. Basically, we're just counting out in the baskets. So we, we know the breed and the type, we count them. By handfuls, we put two chicks in a hand, that's one hand. We put 26 hands in a basket, 104 chicks. So as that, we, we stack them up and, and ride on them. 
and then they'll go straight into the sex room where they'll, they'll get sex. All right, so we're heading to the main shipping room where they're gonna see some of the vaccinations. And I know that's yep. kind of a, a hot topic or something that people aren't sure whether they should do. What, yep. What's the info on this? Um, so we're vaccinating. We do a um, Tushis vaccination of uh, a Merix vaccine. It's a live um, strain of, of the virus. There's six types we cover. Our vaccine covers four of the types of Merix. Mm -hmm. um, that's all the ones that are commercially available. Everyone should vaccinate for Merix. Merix disease is, 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 is extremely prevalent. It's, it's everywhere. It's kind of a misnomer. It's not gonna protect against um, your chicks getting Merix disease, but it will protect them. If they catch it, it'll make the symptoms less. Uh, Merix disease, is, is will, it will kill them. So you can reduce the, the death loss of, of the Merix and, and prevent symptoms um, by the vaccine. The only thing it doesn't really help is, is broilers or meat birds. Um, they, they don't really live long enough to, to benefit from the, from the vaccine. How's this machine work? Well, it's run by air, and so it just goes all through the airline. Uh -huh. And the air pushes a needle that's inside. When you press this button here, they will fire the needle, and the needle has vaccine in it, and the plunger will push the vaccine out. This bag will do about 2,000 birds. Um, it'll last for 45 minutes or so once we mix the vaccines in with it. It's, it's not pleasant. You can see that they're real active. Doesn't... Yeah, you haven't seen effects from it no. hurting them at all? Um, not if it's done properly. If it's done improperly, you can, you can severely damage the bird. Our first ever order from a hatchery was from you guys. You give away a free exotic now bird. Now we're not very exotic because we're not hatching exotic. Okay, so this is our bucket of free and rare chicks. During our busy season, they're a little bit more rare. Right now we have more standard breeds, but it, you still get a free chick with every order when you choose to have that extra chick. They're not always male. We, they're just extra birds that we have, but you could get a male, you could get a female. It's a guessing game to see if you what breed you get. <laughs> All right, so let's see what a uh, order looks like here when you fill one up. I clock in with this and okay. it also lets you do an order. Okay. Just does it so it, it'll say order filled by Kirk. All right, just, so where do you start when you fill this order? Code. Well, I look at what they need and then I go grab a This box. is a little bit of food for them while they're in it's shipping? grow gel. You just mix it with water and it's protein and fiber. It and gives stuff. them enough water and, and, and nutrition throughout their shipping process. So I need a free rare chicken and then there are 26 rangers. Just got to scan it out again. Where's that go to? Go put it on the line over here. Staple it. It'll go down to shipping. It'll They'll weigh it, slap another label on it, and then we'll throw it on the truck. Hey, we're here with Bud, the owner of McMurray Hatchery, and just wanted to ask you about what it's like to, to own a hatchery, how this all began. Well, back in um, 87, I was a contract programmer, a uh, computer programmer, mm -hmm. and uh, the hatchery became one of my clients. Okay. And so uh, that got me started in the hatchery. That and was for running their... All of the order entry systems okay. and and also the, the back end keeping track of the eggs and the birds and all that kind of okay. thing. In 2001, my uh, former partners, Murray McMurray and um, Mike Lubbers, asked me to come in as a partner and they were thinking, you know, they wanted to retire in the future. And in 2012, they did retire and I took over the hatchery. A couple years later, Tom came and now he's doing a lot of the operations and, and uh, uh, really running the day-to-day -day show. Do you enjoy it? Yes, I do. I do. It's it's something different all the time. There is some stress in that we've got a live product and the window of opportunity to get them boxed and shipped and out of here is, is short. Mm -hmm. And anytime you deal with a live product, there are a lot of uh, variables that you got to control and it just takes a lot of work. So ultimately we came here to get some Cornish Cross Chicks to get our meat birds for this year. And so right now Uriah's gonna pack them for us. One's sticking out. One's sticking out. You wanna put another one back in there? Put another one in there? Yeah. How many you got? That looks like a lot in there. <laughs> I 
All right, Tom, well, we want to thank you so much for this tour, for getting to see chicks from going from the egg to the coming out of the hatcher to getting yeah. into boxes yeah. to going out to customers. Uh, where do people find you? Out well, online, how do they get started the with chicks? Yeah. MurrayMcMurrayHatchery.com. Uh -huh. um, we have a Facebook page, we have Instagram pictures. Um, we have a catalog. If, if you really want to get started with chicks, um, call in 800-456-3280. Ask for our catalog. We put it out every year. We'll be coming up on our next year's catalog. It's really a piece of chicken art, you know, where we spend it. It's the best in the industry, really. Sure. Um, the thing I love about McMurray and small businesses like this is how it's helped the community, how it's served millions of people. Can you just tell us about what you love about this and what this company has meant for you and your family and for the community? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're on our, our fifth generation um, here at McMurray Hatchery. Um, we've 101 years we've been in, in Webster City. Um, we had our 100th year anniversary party here last year. Um, we invited every past employee and it was really exciting to see these, these are kids we watched grow up, work through high school, you know, went on to college, they come back and work through college, you know, in the summers and, and there was generations of people, decades of, of family members that, that, that were all together, all worked through McMurray Hatchery. You can't ask for a better community um, to be able to provide that, you know, and it's really exciting to see these kids grow up and, and go on to do different things and like, be able to come back and see that nothing's changed you know it's all hand done so that's awesome well I love it I love we love chickens and we're passionate about it and so we love getting to take a tour we really appreciate the time yeah absolutely so be sure to check them out online we'll have links to their website and all their social media down in the description and we'll see you guys next time